right. I am back. So with that upbeat, joyful soundtrack that is uh, coming from the Monster Boy and... Or is it Wonder Boy? I get them confused. They're the same thing, but they aren't. I think that's from the Monster Boy and the Cursed Kingdom. Or is it Wonder Boy? Monster Boy and the Cursed Kingdom. Yes. Kind of a action platformer metroidvania sort of thing very pretty superb soundtrack like unbelievably good soundtrack that they still haven't released it in any official capacity for some reason that i can't fathom i would buy that in a heartbeat so i had to resort to certain methods and those methods of course are streaming it from youtube <sighs> well, streaming. Piping it in. I could just pipe it in through the game's in-game... Uh... Oh, psh, I haven't been picking these up, have I? I complete... I've been so used to having no forma that I've just assumed I have no forma ever. Um, I just realized that I'm not actually showing anything. Good job, dude. There we go. Alright. I'm actually going to tweak some settings real quick because I had some setting earlier that was causing me problems and I just have to go through them again. Where are you? You know, the field of view probably isn't doing me any favors, but I can't live without it. I need my FOV. Ugh, adaptive exposure doesn't do me any good. Um, maybe it's the high shader quality. I don't actually know. I'm gonna hit confirm. There was a setting that someone recommended I tweak, which uh, apparently was causing some people an inordinate amount of grief. Oh, smoothish. I think I have to feed the cat. Uh, not till tomorrow, apparently. Okay. Um, so yeah, Nightwave. Um, I missed one from last week. I thought I had done all seven, but I... Or all six. Um, uh, medallion runs. Uh, syndicate missions. But I had actually only done five. Uh, so... That will be coming back. Oh, gosh. Flip a coin. Uh, these two are somewhat involved. This one's somewhat involved. Uh, let's see who's recruiting for things. Because if someone's recruiting for either one of these, I'll just join that. Otherwise, uh, I will solo uh, farm the conservationist, because that'll take a hot minute. And by hot minute, that's going to take like an hour, depending on how bad I am. Which is to say, bad. Very bad. Not that terrible. It's just sometimes I'm certain I've hit them in the nog in 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 the noggin, and I very definitely have not. I have a hard time reading the uh, X-ray vision overlay thing. Okay, Railjack carry. I really played some Railjack, so it's like somebody shot him in the head before he could finish that sentence. I'm not gonna recruit a corpse. Yeah, that or he's Finnish. I only reason I say Finnish is because I had a Finnish co-worker who ended every sentence in soul. He's an interesting tick. Nice enough guy. Loved where he lived. Oh my gosh, he invited me over to his place after a uh, pulp and paper convention. Gorgeous area. Over uh, outside Helsinki. I understand some people wouldn't like it. They'd think, oh, it's too much of these, you know, austere plains overlooking chilly lakes. But uh, I thought it was absolutely the most gorgeous place in the world at the time. Maybe I still do. I don't know. There's a couple gorgeous places in the world, but I can't go to any of them right now because <gasps> we're on quarantine lockdown. And if you're not on quarantine lockdown, you're either in Sweden, where they've taken steps to at least track down who had what or 
you're in the United States and uh, whoever's running your state is being irresponsible and trying to kill off the human race as we know it. Thanks. Um, now that we've gotten that out of our system, looking for a railjack for Nightwave invite pulse. Nope. Okay, so I guess I'm going to go solo and try to farm some... Actually, let me make sure that I have my... Duration. Because I might not. I don't! I'm glad I checked. I had my range build on, which is kind of an alt-rounder. Uh, I do not like it as much as the duration, but it is definitely more effective against enemies for sure. That's the wrong planet, dude. Here we go. So you have to get six perfect captures. Um, I thought it was <laughs> on uh, the Plains of Eidolon. So yesterday I spent like a good 30 minutes wasting my time. It was pretty good. I did go solo, right? Yeah. I don't want anybody else mucking this up. Only I can do the mucking up. All right. Oh, look, they're all away from me. That was probably the closest, but I have concerns about how close that is to some enemies. Nice job, dude. not land in the goop. Oh, that's right. I can, however, do that. There we go. So, there is uh, animal leavings here somewhere. Ah, right at the edge. What is this? Track animal. Cooper Don. Okay, let me get out my lure ahead of time. I'm looking for tracks. There they are. Now I can see them. That was another thing on the plains. I don't know if anybody else has had that problem, but every single one I tried to hunt, the tracks were completely invisible. I don't know if that's because of the foliage layering on top of it or what. Uh, fortunately, the thing you had to get to was bright blue and very, very visible once you knew what to look for. Oh, great, it's going into the water. Um, and uh, so I was able to find that, but you had to look in the entire wide open area to find it. Here, yeah, it's not quite so visible. All right. I'm just going to wail up and down a little bit. Uh, excuse me. Ah, there you are. So these you have to double tap. So tap one, tap two, tap three. I triple tapped. I don't know if you have to triple tap. That should be a perfect. It is. Okay. One down. Five to go. Unless there's more? I'm pretty sure they only spawn one. They spawn only one. You're fine, dude. I'm talking to myself again. Um, that's a bit close to population centers. All of these are kind of close to population centers. But this one is, I think, the closest, unless that one's the closest. Let's try that one. 
one, two, three, four, five, six. Because I was too slow, it was only going to do six, not seven. Horasks are the underground ones, I think. Where are you? There you are. Oh, it's, that's right. They have the toxic poop. Please just don't be in the middle of the road though, because then it's liable to get run over. True story. And real things that have happened. Yeah, it's right in the middle of the road. That's a problem. Okay. So first things first. Those are not allowed to be a thing. tricky because your window of opportunity is a bit tiny. Ah, you're joking. Maybe I'll get lucky. There we go. I think these are one. Or are they two? Well, there's two. That's probably only going to be a good at best. I'll take it. Two out of six. Are we having fun yet? You're allowed to say no. Okay. Uh, isn't this the one I just did? It is, but um, this is fine. Because my K drive's right over there. Where is it? It's Spore. Uh, those are definitely baddies right nearby. And I lost it. No, that's not allowed. Go away. I'm looking for a bright blue thing because I'm blind. I followed the boo. Did it go underwater? That'd be... No, there it is. I just didn't go far enough or I went far enough but not the right way. plus side. There we go. Uh, okay. Just 
trying to keep my cloak up. Ah, oh, there it is. Somewhere here. There you are. So it's at two fur. I just have to let it come up once. One. It's another. Di oh, oh, okay. I take. And two. Three out of six. Um, here, I guess. Now, if I get the, uh, what are they, the poppers, I think they're called? Um, if you're really good. Or, uh, you cheat. Um, and by cheat, I mean use all the resources available to you. <clears throat> Ivara Sleep Arrows. Um, or Equinox. Uh, sleepy Time. Go. Where are you? I see one footprint. Oh, because the actual area I have to go is 500 feet this way. Cool. Your meters. Nice. I love it when this happens. Oh. 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 I hear dudes. I don't see dudes, though. Okay, we might get lucky. Everything's bouncing and it's very unpleasant. Ah, there it is. It's right up there. Come on over, you, you goof. I think I got it. Is it running away? That's not allowed. You don't run away. You get shot. That's probably going to be a good... No, it's a perfect for some reason. If I had done that on the planes, that would have counted as a... Uh, that would have counted as a bad, probably, because the planes seem to be inordinately more difficult. Then again, it also has freebie wildlife just hanging around that you can shoot apropos of nothing. So, without having to go through this particular song and dance. Five, six, seven. I'm just going to make sure I'm cloaked. have to find it. Ah, there we go. Is it a, no, the saga, which I think is the birds, which means it's going to be on one of these. Sagas are easy. I'm about to get a bat on this because I opened my stupid mouth. Unless these are the ones that fly, that'd be really embarrassing. Uh, I don't remember because I don't do this. This is not what I signed up for. Uh, <laughs> In Warframe, this is not why I got into the game. No, I was here well before this was a thing. We go around the tree? Is that why I can't find it? No, it just vanishes. Okay. Cool beans. on high and see if I can find the big blue thing. Oh, wow, what's going on here? Oh, because I have the... There it is. I've got to pull out the other anyway. Always on top of a fungus. 
so one of the reasons I'm glad I'm in Octavia. I just have to find where it is. There we go. Easy. Alpine monitor. Okay, I just have to get up there. It is still up there. It is still up. Oh, it's right on that one. Cool. Hey. Hey. No. Don't. Oh. I hope it didn't smell me or whatever. Don't run. That's not allowed. That's going to be a good at best. I'll take it. It's pretty bird. So there's glass things around, and I'm not a Navara. Navaras could loot them. Uh, I don't think loot drop bonuses affect them. Possibly the drop rate one booster, as opposed to the drop amount booster. Because I think the groups I've been with that had them, had the drop rates, uh, seem to drop more, but that may have just been coincidence. Um, but certainly, um, our good friend Ivara can loot them. Uh, I am not a thousand percent sure on Korra. I have it on reasonable authority that uh, Hydroid can loot them uh, so long as you kill them while they are attached to a tentacle, which is not especially difficult. Um, I do not know about Atlas. So because they're affected by the actual status control or stati uh, crowd controlling effects of those looter powers... They do, in fact... Uh, oh, and Necros should work as well. Um, they do, actually. Uh, can I zoom? Yes, I can. Not quite what I wanted to do, but I... Unless that's inside a cave. I'd really prefer that not to be the case. Uh, although that would mean it's a uh, one of the Kubradons, I think. Right? Those are the ones in caves? Possibly? Maybe it's right above me. I missed it. Failing that, I'm going to go somewhere else because uh, pfft, not worth my time to look for the thing if I can't find it. Pretty m oh, great, these guys. Hey! 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 You! Your guy! Right here? He's been messed up. Okay, you're dead. Oh, I actually killed it, killed it out, right? Interesting. Alright, so we're going to a different location, because obviously it's not going to give me the satisfaction of an easy job. Swoosh! Bonk! Saga again. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I need to go throw myself into a pit. Or just abandon myself in the wastes. Well, this... No, it's just an invisible wall. Because of course it is. With an ice proc, I might add. Well, pseudo ice proc. Or I now need to wait 30 seconds for that thing to disappear, because that will ruin this whole thing. Uh... Get glassed, please. For me. Get them too, please. Does it not affect drone? Drone likes? Ospreys. Spray legs, whatever those are called, I don't know. 
Okay, I think I got one of the items from that. All right, now we go back here and we try this again. Um, there's people, so I need to. Oh, did I just kill him outright? I sure did. This is fun. Okay, it's a saga again. Let's do it. Hopefully this one will be a little less terrifying. Because I thought I flubbed that one pretty bad. Where is it going? Oh, it's going to this other field, I guess. Maybe? They... It's not just me. They did just vanish, right? I could be that blind. It is possible. It is within the realm of possibility that I am that blind. But, uh... Ugh. I don't want to have to shoot everything. But I will. Oh, this one's been glass, too. There we go. Okay. Oh, there it is. Okay, is it gonna go up there? That's a tricky one. That's tall. Oh, nice. I flubbed my, uh... Okay, where are you? Is it up there? Oh, that's interesting. It didn't do a double jump. Okay. That's really frustrating, and I wish it wouldn't do that. There we go. You are going nowhere, flossy man. Woman thing. Bird. Flossy bird. Alright. Just have to do one more of these and we can get out of here. Or rather leave and come back and do exploiter uh because exploiter is i've done i don't know 10 of those on stream probably more they're not very hard in my opinion they just require people to know what they're doing like nearly every activity in warframe once you know what to do it's usually brain dead uh brain dead to a borderline trivial uh, except when it's not. Uh, I'm looking at you. Uh, trials. The. Uh... Oh gosh, where is it? Is that another saga? It is absolutely another saga. I'm making it easy for me. Okay, so it's over here somewhere. I've actually find the trail though. And because of the underwater aspect. This is mostly where are the, even the mushroom trees? The mushroom trees are all over here. So either I call them mushroom trees. They are just mushrooms. Um the uh Mycoidia gargantua, if you will. Oh, uh, boy. Okay. Is the disadvantage of trying to do this with a Redeemer? Is it's got that delicious built-in knockback? Is there some up there? No, there aren't. Alright. Uh, so now I'm looking for a bright blue glowing thing. Oh, here we go. Maybe this is the one that it's going to be at. Or not. Ah, oh, psh. You went right past it, my dude. This is probably where it's going to be. It's either that or across the river, or whatever this is. But it's probably here. Uh, 
probably going to appear there. If it doesn't appear over here, then I'm not totally sure what I'll do. It did, so we are good. I might be able to get this from range, too. Got him. Don't you float all the way into the air. I will not have it. That better be perfect. There we go. Okay, that was painless. Sorgor, as the Solaris call it. This crimson-faced bird of prey circles and stalks the cliffs and fungal forests of Venus. Searching for rodent prey. Alright, let's get out of here. Where are you, Fortuna? There you are. Oh, you're right nearby? Beautiful. You beauty. So, are we the dreamers? Or... Probably are. I do kind of like how they're bringing back a uh, figure that's sort of like the original Lotus was, where the Lotus we were communicating with was like a uh, just the face of an or a greater organization that was waking Tenno up. Oh, oh this track is a banger. It slaps. It's kicking. Because I've got the grind rail, I don't have to be quite as aggressive. Oh, I just ranked up. We're good. I was gonna say, let me just do this until I rank up once. And then I did. So... call it at that. Now, of course, I don't really need more, uh... Standing with those guys, the Vent Children. Duct Children versus the Vent Kids. Um, so, let me go back to Public. see if someone's doing an exploiter. Otherwise, I will happily just join one. We're going to be replaying that track. This track is too good to pass up. I love this one. Um, like, this is a track that keeps me up at night. Just nodding my head. All right, nobody's saying the magic E word, so I am going to tweak my arsenal. Ooh, I do have to tweak my arsenal, actually. I need to have, um, yeah, the Kuva Tonkor is not going to do me a hell of a lot of good here, unfortunately. Um, hit scan is desirable. I might just go with the Quartec at this point. Um, and I do want decent pistols. The Actragara Primes are okay. Problem with the Kuva Quartec, uh, and the Redeemer will be perfectly serviceable. Uh, the Xenostar also is okay here, um, because you can just throw it out and have it eradicate things, but that's why I'm Octavia is so I don't have to worry about... Oh my gosh, I'm using the wrong sigil. Oh god. Oh. Uh, I just set myself back. I don't even know how far. Oh, that's frustrating. That's frustrating as hell. I could kick myself. There, I did. It hurt are happy now. Um, check our primes are fine. They're not mountains of damage, but they're utilitarian. You're, they're workhorse. They're utilitarian. They do what they do. And equipment arsenal. I'm gonna switch to max range. Uh, 
as opposed to duration here. Because that's kind of a... I mean, it's basically my all-rounder at this point. Um, now that I have Umbral Intensify on there. Um, I also have Partition Mallet. I'm not sure if I should remove that. Eh. meters versus let me see if that changes okay it does what's the range on this one 18.4 uh... oh what I could put on there and I may have had this on there before augment there we go is conductor because then I can plop down my one and my two and it'll stay or at least move to a location what does upgrading this actually do I assume it improves speed big friggin deal You only need it at base level, as far as I'm concerned, because the thing moves quick enough. Um, yeah, so we'll go with our range build, which does not have the duration I would like. I would like much more duration. Uh, actually, let me double check to see if I've got Prime Flow on there. If I don't... I don't... That's going to be interesting. This is going to be a very borderline operation. I could tell. Well, I have Arcane Energize on there. I'm going to put Aegis on here. Where's Aegis? For survivability. Energize, of course, being about as essential as it is possible to be. I gotta find some way to cram Prime Flow on there. I don't know what I have to trade to do it, but... I'm gonna join a Exploiter run. Exploiter is pretty straightforward. Uh, it's the initial figuring it out part that's kind of a chore. Get me out of here. Oh, that's right. We're doing Maze Cave again. Sorry. That's the name of the track is track 3A, Maze Cave, and it is like 6 minutes and 10 seconds of auditory bliss. So we have some more bodies. I'm not gonna hop in there just yet. See, he, uh, he's a Wukong Prime, I think. He, she, it, they. Us Wizard Gamma. Whatever that means. I'm being facetious. Sorry. Ray Blood. I wonder if that's in any way related.
Oh, they're a Valkyr Prime. This is also durable when it chooses to be. I didn't check to see what my Redeemer Prime build was. I am a fool. See, we're getting bodies. This is no problem. So because this has no energy capacity, this is going to be much harder for me than it has any right to be. Uh, for instance, one, two, three. I can't even cast a four immediately afterwards. That is a problem. And it's only 30 seconds. This is not my charge shot build. I should leave now. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do this. It's gonna be fine. I just am not gonna be doing the things I expected to be doing. So I need to hit the button over here. Where are you? I'm gonna wait till I see everyone in here. I see one, two, three, four. Very good. Okay, I actually got one of them. I should have placed it closer. I'm not as smart as I look, and I apologize. Okay, I'm actually gonna plop it then, like right over here. That one's already been raided. Destructibility is a highly relative idea. There's a third one around here somewhere. Where is it? Is it up here? Yeah, here we go. Oh, glad I didn't get hit by that. I need it to stop moving yesterday. Thank you. God. Sort of. Okay, I'm ready to move on with the soundtrack then. Oh, is that one right there? There we go. I don't care about my cup out at this point. I do care about the ice proc, that's kind of obnoxious. Ah, don't you do that right now! I need to get Prime Flow on here. Oh, I'll take regular Flow. I'll take regular Flow, but it needs to be on this build. This is not gonna work for me. Ugh. So I'm a bit excited. Oh, she's up there now, okay. I missed because I'm not as smart as I look. I did not lead. Uh, 
I think that's it. Yeah, we're good. I am going to grab a spare one of those things, though, because that makes this next bit a little bit less agonizing. Yeah, I don't care what it takes. I'm getting a prime flow on here. Uh, I prefer a little more duration, too, but I don't think I can manage it and keep my uh, other stats anywhere resembling even. Here's a boat. It go toot. A little paper boat. I know two of us grabbed it. Maybe three. Did you not grab one there, you little wankstein? Oh, is it an Excalibur Umbra? Yes, it is. Why am I not surprised? Excalibur Umbra is the way they are. Forgetful and not considerate of others. They think they can do it all on their own. Well, they're wrong. You did, didn't you? Well, we splattered it. We're okay. Okay. One. Did I just, like, throw it out there? I don't know. I just have to find rachnoids and shoot them in the bits. Like that. Canisters. Oh. Well. I wasn't paying attention to the heat gauge. Here somewhere. Here's one. Please, thank you. Wait, where'd you go? <gasps> it fell. Oh no, I picked it up again. Cool. Because it sure looked like it fell into the ground. a little, little bit easier. You shall be an example. Alright, it's about to be overheated, so I'm going to get in place to do this. I just shot it, and I should have let it detonate, but uh, it's too late now.
Gib. Uh, oh, it's way over there. Duh. Boom. And as ever, we just keep doing this over and over. Until it's been overheated. And, uh, you know, then we can shoot it to death. I remember how obnoxiously buggy this was. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep trying to bleed heat, but it's cumulative, so... Which kind of doesn't make sense in a way, but, uh... Division. Now we're good. And I think this is it. Now is the part where we shoot it a bunch and it dies a lot. This is where having the. Well, actually, we're supposed to be shooting it all along, but other people have been paying attention when I have not. Um, you're right, I should get moving, strictly speaking. No, that's the wrong vehicle, oh god. Get out! Run away! Oh, I don't need to do this. I'm just gonna stay like this for the next several seconds. because it should not kill me. I'm gonna revive my Kavat while I'm at it. And pick up whatever it left behind, which is probably not very much. Uh, Hildred Neuro Optics, and another Articula. Ech. Well, you know and them being dead and stuff. But. So we're just going to ignore this rousing moment of plot. Um, now that we have this done. Now it's just the 20 minute 20 wave or is, is it 20 minute survival or 20 wave defense? I think it's a 20 wave defense. Either one is easy. 20 wave defense is technically a longer endeavor, but I'm not super worried. Uh let's see. Anything of interest there? Megatoro, yeah. The Articula is the best I got out of that. I think I have like a lot of those. I have a bunch. I'm hoping for Ephemera someday, but uh, hasn't happened yet, and I'm not willing to farm this event like... or I'm not willing to farm the Exploiter like crazy in order to make that happen. So I'm going to leave Fortuna. Uh, I'm going to see what I got for the next level of... Um, this is another slapper. Largely because it has a bunch of pluck base. Do I have 110? That's 20, that's 20, that's 40. I think I can get it. Yeah. Now that they've got uh, some augments that actually work, some conclave augments that actually work in the 
actual game of Warframe. Haha. -ha. Um, and some of them are pretty interesting. Uh, I don't know about purging Slash. Slash Dash Augment allies in the path of Slash Dash have four debuffs removed and 100% shields restored. Good luck aiming that. Uh, that'd be really good uh, uh, for a Hildren teammate. Because a Hildren might have like... 5,500 shields or so, or 6,500 if you include overshields, but I don't think it'll heal that. Uh, this, on the other hand, create a ring that every three seconds that drags in enemies at 15 meters a second. For Nyx, just sitting there um, in uh, Absorb, that's going to help with stuff like uh, the infestation. It's going to help pretty much anyone any against anything because you'll just be bringing enemies closer so they can put more damage into your absorb ball and you can then direct that uh elsewhere uh yeah i was gonna say i have that already i don't need the uh tonkor thing uh i think i have just enough to get the glass maker ornament double checking once again to make sure there's no glut no, there isn't. And I have the rest of these crafted. I have the arcane version crafted. I have the arcane. I have the arcane. I have the arcane. I have that. I have that. I have that. That. I have the arcane. I have that. 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 Yes. 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 Obviously have that already. And the arcane of that. All right, we're good. Uh, I don't need nitane. I have 255 nitane. That's enough, as far as I'm concerned. Nothing has cost that much. Um, I could probably stand to get some more catalysts, but right now... I did not burn all my credits from last night wave, the intermission. So, Because I was saving like 100 of them, I think. Um, just in case. And I got the... I got my wires crossed and got the timing wrong, so I messed up there. I could have gotten a bunch of uh, Oricon Catalysts, or an Oricon Catalyst, and I did not. Okay. What is Ambush Optics? F minus 50% zoom on Rubico, that's not so bad. I mean, I wouldn't use a mod slot for that, but... Oh, right, right. On dodge, gain 400% headshot critical chance for your next two shots. I thought it was regular crit chance, not headshot, but... That's still not bad, unless you're against infested, where getting headshots is obnoxious to impossible. Um, I thought there was another mod. Oh, it's way over here. It's much further along the line than I thought. But then, after that, we get um, a three forma, which is great, and then we start getting the cosmetics, uh, the other cosmetics, the operator cosmetics, like the Cognabits, which look pretty... Preview, there we go. Which look pretty snazzy. I kind of hope this can go on both ears and isn't just one ear. Because it'll look really dumb on just one ear, in my opinion. Um, and the eye visor, which is like the one I have, except better. Um, pretty classy. And then uh, the mouthpiece, which is kind of preposterous, but uh, glassy. I mean classy. I mean, ah, never mind. I've been found out. Uh, pretty neat. Obviously, you don't get this one until way late, but it looks real good. Um, I do rather like this one. I have to find an actual frame to put it on. I'm also really hyped for the Nightwave uh, Orbiter. I don't think it's... Uh, Orbiter. Nightwave Lyset Analog Landing Craft uh, thing. I don't think it's going to be particularly fantastic. It's uh, air strike ability, air support ability is going to be particularly good. Nightwave's air support releases powerful sound waves, destroying weaker enemies while stunning more powerful ones. I don't know what its criteria for that is. Will it stun? Will it kill anything under a certain level? In which case it's kind of trash. Uh, will it kill certain enemy types, in which case it might not be trash. Like, if it'll kill a Lancer, period, that'd be pretty dope. 
but only stun like uh, bombards and heavy gunners. Let's see, a formal will be nice. I'll probably be getting that today. This one could be tricky. Um, clear a railjack boarding party without your warframe taking damage. I guess you would do that as like a either someone invisible. Unless they mean the help. No, they probably mean, like, taking a hint. So, good luck with that. Be invisible. Um, or have them CC'd very early. Uh, I'm probably going to do this defense mission one. Either that or chip away at the exterminate missions, because I only need a couple of those. Um, I am going to change... I'm actually going to check to see if there's a like to keep constitution there because I losing more duration feels like it would be terrible for me at this point because um, it's hard enough with it as it is I'm not going to sacrifice range um, and I'm definitely not sacrificing strength uh, that'd be 10 that's not enough That's not enough. Alternatively, I can lose just a couple points, uh, which is auger, auger. Yeah, only four percent loss. Auger message, and let's get Prime Flow on there. I'm willing to take that amount of a hit, because that's it's four points. I'd prefer not to, obviously, but I don't have much choice, because Prime Flow is a bit too good, especially if I'm going to have to be casting more often. Um, Yeah, we'll leave it at that for now. That's kind of the difficulty with going with a offense-based... Um, Octavia is the bonuses you get from the mallet absorbing damage go right down the tubes very quickly because it resets uh, as soon as the mallet is uh, the mallet runs out. Um, then again, you get back up there faster. Then again, now ideally I'd have adaptation on here. I don't. I'll live. I'm also invisible, so getting hit inconsequential in the extreme. Uh, so we'll leave it at that. That should be fine, yeah. Because having the energy is kind of the big one there. Ugh. Yeah, I think this is the one I was doing for buffs. Self buffs, but it doesn't... It's like... yeah. They don't last very long, for starters. And they... Uh, I don't have the energy efficiency. Whatever. Duration is still my go-to. It's so much easier to work with. It is very easy to work with. Okay. Let's get that Tonkor equipped. Um, we're going to go with a different gun, even though the... Uh, why does that have gas? Oh, I probably did it for something else. Oh, I have a... Really? I didn't realize... Oh, because of the depolarity. That's why I don't have it equipped already. And fitting it in would be pff, onerous. I'm not going to worry about forming that just yet. I do want to get that on there, though. Uh, that's, I have three to work with, so I can bump it up, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six mods. Fusing, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's fairly respectable. Toxin damage just kind of acts as street, uh, street percent damage boost, which is pretty good.
If I do format it again, I'll be putting it on here. Yeah. Because that's the most expensive thing I can put it on at this point. I do want to keep uh, Toxin Sequence. I know my basic status is kind of mediocre. But we'll be okay. Um... Yeah, we'll keep Octavia for now. Uh, Derelict Assassination. I also need to farm for my good friend, Titania Prime. And to do that, and components, so to do that, I need... Uh, oh, I need to actually check to see if I have any Titania components. I think I do. Yeah, okay, I have the BP and the Neuroptics. Let me... Oh, I need Argon. Ick. Whatever, that's like <sighs> 10 minutes of farming. Nightwave boarding party. I do need to do that too. All right, Titania. So I do need the systems and I still don't have more dupes of that. And I've tried to get dupes of that. I get it for everything else, but it is really infuriating as you can probably imagine. And I no longer need the, the blueprint because I already have that. chassis is an easy drop so I can wait for any time to do that so I need to see if somebody's doing like a T5 I'll join that and pray that I get it on try one but uh, probably not oh I haven't checked the Corinth components Uh, C6 Radiant, that's for the stock. I already have the stock. Nice. Um, so I don't have to worry about that. Corinth Prime Barrel, I do not have. I still don't have one. That's interesting. I'm going to double check that because I thought I had Corinth. No, I obviously don't. Um, maybe it's the other one. Was that the Pangolin Sword Prime? Pango. Nope. Let me see if I've got any Pangolin Sword. I had a checklist and I lost it because I didn't save it because I'm smart. Pango Lin. Here we go. Okay, that's for the BP, which I demonstrably do not have, so I don't need to check it. Inter out of interest. No, it's just one of each. Well, that's pretty cheap, actually. Are they, like, rares? Just uncommons, I guess. And I don't have either, which is typical. Uh, this one I should probably... I'll do two. Because going Radiant boosts your chances of a uh, uncommon considerably. And a P1, I'll probably get another one. So I have two... Ideally, I'd have three, but... Eh. 
Little murmur. I am killing my lich right now. Okay. So are you looking for murmurs or killing your lich right now? That's right. I need to make progress on my lich as well. That can wait. And exploiter orb. Uh, I'll get lucky and he will send me an invite. Probably not. Failing that, I can just start a railjack mission and call it a day, really. Speaking of which. That's just going to put me back on the boat. Is there no way to do this adjustment here? I thought there was a way, but without a map I can't see. Clearly not. That's my arsenal, I don't care about that. Uh, they still don't have a railjack uh, UI um, for your basic arsenal stuff yet, I guess, uh, within your license. So that's, that's not helpful. Um, well, he didn't respond, so I don't care. As far as I know, he is then a... Uh, there it is, dry dock. Just go to DD. That's, I guess, probably the fastest way to do it, is hop into your railjack from your orbiter, go to dry dock, and that way you don't have to run all the way. It doesn't really matter, it's still clunky. There must be a better way. Oh, that is a static image. I've never looked at that before. Hmm. Meant or intended to convey size and scale. Uh, let's see. What was the thing I was... Was it the... No, it's the... I already got the Tycho Seeker Mark III. Hold up. Where's my big shooty laser beamy thing? Huh? Huh? Where'd that go? Did I dismantle it like a fool? This is also possible. Uh... Vidar... Um, actually, isn't plasma damage the good one? I can't remember my damage types. Um, so I'm not going to worry about that. I will, however, build a... Which is the better one here? Is it the lava? It's by converting to shields, that's irrelevant. That's the problem, is the secondary boni are... Uh...
intruders on the rail drive will have their armor reduced by 10%. That's actually kind of good. build these and then valence fuse these into that no it would have to be this into that i don't remember how it works i'm gonna build this in any case do i have a spare i do have a spare rush repair drum can i afford to do it straight off though Ugh. i need more asterite because of course i do asterite has been the bane of my existence forever a matching railjack part. Oh, okay, so you can just choose which bonus you have, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, so in that case, we'll take this one. Valence Fusion. Oh, you can do it when they're not even built yet? What? I feel dumb now. Oh, no, okay. You can do... Yeah, I feel dumb for wasting the... Uh... Oh, well. Two right now. No, I want to have the... Okay. If I choose this and I do Valence Fusion with this one, I want the armor reduction. No, that's only going to bump it up to that. So I'm going to choose this one. Valence Fuse with this thing. Go with option 2 to reduce their armor. And that, I think, is as high as it goes. Fuse. Only Dirac Fuse. Oh, so you have to at least spend some of the cost to build it then. Okay. Okay, max stats. Very good. Okay. Very nice. I don't know if that's as fast as you can go. Because I haven't maxed out any VDAR components. Uh, my reactor, other than not having... Oh, that's, none of these are especially thrilling, are they? I don't know the max stat cap, so um, I don't know if I can even afford that. It seems to be like less than what it would cost to build, though. What it would cost to repair? Yeah, it's less than half, so balance fusing is definitely worth your time, I would say.
Oh, okay, no, the flux capacity can go higher. Alright, I'm not gonna worry about that. Shield array wise, meh. Okay, I'm gonna call it at that. Uh, I'm gonna double check my mods real quick. Mods. Intrinsics. Yeah, I still need to do farming for that. There we go. And my avionics. Nope, still no void home. No surprise there. I haven't done much farming, so... Man, you could really mess someone's day up by, by doing form up. You can make some people upset. And justifiably so. Don't care about shields. Do kind of care about forward artillery. That'd probably be a good idea. Um, keep capacity. I want to keep flux energy. I want to keep speed. I want to keep boost speed. Maybe I don't want to keep critical damage. I want to keep. Uh, shoot. What do we get rid of then? What do I get rid of? Because I have to get something bumped off here. Engines are going to be speedy. Is there any... There isn't a better conic nozzle. That's the only one, right? Yeah. It's supposed to be just the best ones available. Um, I guess I could do that. What are my... Actually, come to think of it, you could be at it a bit longer, but I would need. So that's ordinance. To oh wait, no. Ordinance is the um, the other thing. I don't care about that. I care about the uh, forward artillery, which uh, I, what does that go under? Dome charges. That's something else entirely. Uh, so forward artillery. Is there anything else that boosts turret? Damage. There's ordnance damage. No, it's just forward artillery. Heck with it. We need to max out one of those anyway. Where are you, forward artillery? Goodness knows I've got the Dirac for it, even though it's going to go up into the multiple thousands. And that's it. Ta-da! <laughs> that's pretty substantial. Alright, um... I actually should organize these a bit better so I can keep an eye on it more easily. So what I'm going to do... And turret for that. Um, I'm going to put Hyperflux up there, and the, whatever that other thing was called, Forward Artillery right there. And that about does it, really, until I get a Void Hole, and somehow find a way to equip something here that's worth having. No such animal exists. Uh, I guess I could... No, I can't put Void Cloak there. I can't afford to. 
I don't have the uh, avionics capacity. And I have a reactor with maxed avionics capacity. So... I can't afford that. So breach quanta it is, I guess. you put breach quanta here and put battle forge there oh hot fix hot fix hot fix 22754 is coming in three minutes for x new augments have arrived fill in the blanks to guess for who atlas Nidus, Valkyr, Saren. Any guesses? Any at all? I didn't think we had a Valkor or a Sabin or an it Itlus or a Nodus. But hey, there we are. Be interested to see what those are. I haven't been paying attention to the, um, what are they called? The, uh, oh, the one where they get us, uh, founders and community members involved so i'm gonna wait on this i'm gonna wait until this hot fix is out and then i will get that installed and then continue oh, let me check to see if they've got their patch notes uh, 2754 is coming in two minutes wow you tenno are so smart truly the smartest community in games so smart i bet you already know who done it in series three the killer they can read your every thought let them read your mind ellipsis Warframe patch notes. I knew I had a tab open to this. I knew it. I just knew it in my bones. Uh, here we go. Give me those patch notes, foo. I'll read them as we wait. What do we got? Uh, yeah, okay. Oh, geez, passive augments. What? Okay. Some of these look busted. Uh, just at first glance. We'll see. Uh, let's see. Atlas gets Rubble Heap, which uh, provides a passive augment. When above 1400 rubble, landslide costs no energy, deals 2x damage, and travels two times faster. Zoinks. Uh, Nidus gets Abundant Mutation. Passive augment... Nidus gains an additional 200 max stacks of mutation. Undying has a 30 second cooldown. Uh, let's read those red hotfix notes. Uh, so you like second dreams? You like Octavia, don't you? You enjoy royal role-playing games. Hmm, you have not saved often. <laughs> I just got it. It's a Psycho Mantis reference uh, from uh, Metal Gear Solid 1. You like racing games? You haven't saved in an hour. That was really cool. That was, as a result, Metal Gear Solid One is one of my favorites, uh, favorite games, just because it messes with your head for that fight, and it messes with your fight in a huge way, with your head in a huge way. Like when it does the uh, screen input, so it says Hideo in the corner instead of video, so you think, oh shit, it's been disconnected. What happened? So cool. Uh, so moving on with the augments. Uh, the next one along is Enraged, which is for Valkyr. It's a Hysteria augment. Damage increased by 200%. Critical chance increased by 200%. Hysteria lasts for 15 seconds and receives a matching cooldown. So beast mode, but very conditional. I'll be interested to see what that does oh that and then uh saren gets uh for her spores revealing spores uh spores augment infected enemies within 40 meters will show up on the mini map that's of uh, some value i guess <laughs> maybe um let's see any changes uh, 
Night wave changes and fixes your move speed in Glassmaker Crime Scene Number One now meet, matches the Leverian move speed. Inspect with more haste. Cephalite Resonance is now linkable in chat, which can also reveal the amount in your inventory. That's very nice. Fixed a script error that could occur if an enemy was glassed while on a mounted turret. Interesting. Uh, Baruch's desolate hands will no longer consume a charge from Baruch when sharing with allies. Wait, what? That's crazy. Uh, and then the directed convergence mod has been converted to an Exilus mod. Since I don't know what directed convergence is. What is directed convergence? Uh, it's for the Supra, and it is not a mod I would use. Because I don't need accuracy with my Supra, to be honest. Um, wow, that's a lot of particle effects. Holy Spinoli. That's hilarious. <laughs> that is a wall of particles. That's crazy. Uh, they have a picture there on the forum thread. That's neat. Um, crash fixes. Parason mods not remaining equipped. Fixed blood rush. Gladiator mod set and weeping wounds. Bonuses not resetting if you're the operator when the combo expires. Ooh, I didn't know about that. Fixed ability to hack a bursa for free if you exited the hack via the pause menu. Interesting. Fixed inability to target Baruch's desolate hands and Nezh's warding halo on defendable objects. Cool. So we can put those on defendable objects now. Very nice. That's going to be crazy good. Um, oh, wait. We could do that. We were supposed to be able to do that. You're right. I forgot about that. Fixed down Kuva larvelings, sometimes teleporting ahead of the player en route to extraction. That has happened to me. Uh, twice, I think. No more than that. Uh, so yeah. Some interesting stuff there. We'll see what uh, factions that's for. Alright. We are going to quickly bail. I'm going to put on intermission while I restart the game leave Doho. And we'll do probably the defense mission, because 20 waves is easy. Easy. Yes, I will be automatically logged out in 15 minutes. That's why I'm logging out now. Uh, duh. Hello. Oh, that's right. My streaming program is not going to like this one bit. It's funny. It used to have no problem with this, but it has huge problems now. So I may have to interrupt the stream more than it's being interrupted. I'm gonna kick myself it's, if it does. Uh. see if it's going to give me grief. <gasps> it isn't giving me grief. This is a good day. Okay. Very nice. Let's see where we get those augments from. I'm going to have to... Guaranteed one of them is going to be from New Loco. And it's, of course, one of the ones that I want. Let me see if I get lucky. Uh, none for Arbiters, which is bad. bad. <laughs> well, Rubble Heap could be interesting, but I don't think I've been at 
1400 rubble in ages. Um, abundant mutation and revealing. Oh, great. All right, Suda. Uh, of course. So I can't get the Valkyr augment. Ugh. Because of course I can't. <sighs> and Steel, of course, has none of the new ones because that would be too easy. Uh, was it Vale that had like four of them? No, no only two. So it's uh... Arbiters of Hexus, which I'm only getting uh, credit for. No, it's not Arbiters. Hold up. actually buy one of these already, I guess. Oh no, Steel has four of them. Alright, alright, never mind. Um, well, I can eliminate at least one of those using this. Probably Rubble Heap. What about 1,400 Rubble? Hmm. I'll have to try to do rubble builds, I guess. Reminds me that there was this band I was into for a while called Rubble Bucket. A friend turned me onto them. They're pretty cool. Okay, well, that's neat. Hosting Murmurs, hosting Railjack, PM, exclamation point. Oh, why not? He's not responding. That's a bad sign. Is he sitting in my... No, he is not. Alright, so that's not happening. That's good. doing region chat discussions in recruiting. Well, could also go limbo. Bundle 
farming? Is that really a thing? Do people need to farm polymer bundles? I'm shocked. Shocked! Shocked! I guess I could see what the sortie is, if people are going to be that way. Uh, Rad Hazard Assassination, that's no problem. Mob Def. Easy. These are easy. Oh, now he invites me. I see how it is. That's true, and there's Baruch. Desolate hands are no longer going to consume a charge. Oh my gosh. For allies, that is crazy. Because that drains my charges like nothing else, just being near my allies. So I guess it'll just go to them and they'll have one, but I don't know. So that means you just get free charges, basically. That's dope. That's dope. As a Baruch player, I find this highly desirable. Particular. Anything worth farming for in particular? So I have some Streets of Rage soundtrack here somewhere. I just have to find where it is. I'm about to skip ahead to it. Wow, these are long. Oh, that's right. It's like two hours and change of soundtrack. That's right, I do have Tactics 10, don't I? So I can do uh, teleporting to crew members. That's not the channel I want to be in. F.A.
So, anybody who's watched my stream before knows that I have just bald-faced lied to this person. Uh, but what he doesn't know can't possibly hurt him. Hardy har har. So I guess we're about to do this. Oh, we're being zapped. We are getting terraported. This is good, yeah. Just realized my microphone's been muted for the past god knows how long, so I am not as smart as I look. Oh, don't have a host disco. Please, please, please. Not great time for it. Thank you. Inari and Affinity Booster. Uh, well, things just got interesting. Interesting. What is going on here? Uh, can I abort and then join? Yeah, I'm fine with a failure, except. Not totally sure what happened there. All right, hell with this. Streets of Rage. Judy Blasty time. Oh yeah, his ship is better than mine, I think. <laughs> Yay, Asterite! Rejoice! Ah, I didn't kill it! I missed! Oh, 
Actually, while I'm down here, I shouldn't take any damage. Oh, he's got one of those things that boosts his damage while, um... Huh? Yay! Okay. Definitely may have exaggerated my ability to hit things. shooting at them, but I want one. It's not the void hole. I think it's the, uh, who's he, what's it? It's the, uh, the one that's kind of like, uh, Mag's thing. Oh, buddy. I got him. We're all set. I haven't been paying attention to my ammo. Oh, it's 3 of 5. We're fine. Ah? Uh? Can't hit him from here. Yay, pustrels, a thing I never needed any of, except for when I needed them. Interesting remix of Streets of Rage soundtracks. This is interesting. Good hunting. Grenier interceptors alerted. Contact imminent. Good luck. Now I'm not sure what he's shooting there, because I don't do railjack much. Unless he's shooting out a void hole and then immediately detonating it? This is also possible. Some 
Someone's trying to ping me something on Steam. Good luck to them. Levan Fotor, okay. I don't know if Levan stuff got a boost, or if it's still Vidar all the way, unless you want to have silly fire rate with, uh, with Zetki. Zekti? I can never remember which order the consonants come in on that one. Death Blossom, which I don't think I had before. Squad Renew, no. Ordnance Cheap Shot, no. Looking for Void Hole. I'm not seeing Void Hole. No, no soy. That's the, the armament burst or whatever it is. I think I have one of those, but uh, don't look at the Mr. Punch. He's definitely got a better kitted out uh, railjack than I do, so just as well I didn't try to host. It's trailing us, I'm not sure. but whatever. I'm just a baddie McBaddenstein. Not to tune my own horn or anything, but I'm actually terrible at video games. I 
need to check my intrinsics as well. Ah, not a lot. I don't remember the good intrinsics farming locations now. I didn't see a void hole in there, but I wasn't looking super hard for one. Let me scroll all the way at the bottom, work my way up the switch. Nah. Lots of stuff I can scrap, not that I need. Deer Rock as a resource, sadly. Oi! He's killing off all the waves of fighters first, and then, uh... I realize this is basically point-and-click simulation, and I'm ter but I'm terrible at flying these things, so I'm not going to do the flying. It's funny, because I used to love Descent. Ooh, another Vitar Carcinox. Neato. Oh, no. Fangul satellite on Earth. Put on. Oh, he's trying to type and fly at the same time, and he's doing well. Oh, particle ram. That makes sense. It's like a tether thing, I think. like a BFG shot. I do not have one. Whatever it is. Maybe it's the Death Blossom for all I know. If it is, no. The Death Blossom probably just shoots a big bunch of radial projectiles out. Because uh, it's a reference to the last Starfighter, and I would imagine, you know, 
behave in a similar fashion. Uh, let's go over this one first, and this one second. Three M good. Oh, three minutes. Yeah. Well, it helps when the enemies wind up being clustered pretty close together. not going to see void hole even if it does show up i'm not at the point where i'm actually going to buy a void hole we got a spare death blossom i'd be interested to see what that do That dude wanted to. St <laughs> that one little fighter craft was like, nah, nah, I'm gonna get this. You're not gonna blow up the cruise ship. I was 98% sure I missed there, but no big. AFK for all I care. Uh, just stay on the damn boat. 
Yeah, when you've got one of these spec to the nines railjacks, it don't really need any of this other jive. You don't need to do the boarding thing, which is too bad because I was spec very much for boarding, and uh, it's largely become wholly irrelevant. I'm gonna have to scrap some of this stuff, I think, because I'm running out of room. Have to do that. There's another Death Blossom. I'll have to find out what that is, because I don't remember that mod. I've done a bunch of GN points, and I have not gotten Death Blossoms in this level of profligacy. Is the wrong word. Doesn't matter. Too tired. Brain fried. Focusing on aiming. A task I'm kind of bad at. Did I miss? I missed. Uh, oh, it, it didn't matter. Oh, okay. Oh, sweet. I don't think it is. Warframe is usually like Thursdays, Fridays, or yeah, Fridays most of the time, I thought. Or whenever prime time is. I don't remember when prime time streams. Unless they've got like more stuff throughout the week. officer outside. Interesting. wonder what the fuzz wants. Hopefully some absolute maniac who thought it was a great idea to go uh, kitted to the nines in military garb and, and guns and weapons and stuff. Places of government, which I thought was, oh god, uh, you know, one of those highly illegal things. You'd never get away with that in the 80s. You'd get arrested on the spot. Try going into, like, the White House armed to the teeth and see how far you get before the Secret Service jumps your ass. And people are going to, like, local places of government kitted out that way. It's the crassest form of intimidation tactics. It's terrorism, is what it is. Sorry, it's a political rant now. Alert. Enemy cruise ship has trans 
translated into the sector. see anything <laughs> so that was a shot into the dark I will take a free form of blueprint any day of the week. Oh, up to 170 intrinsics. Bothered maneuver. Kind of no point, dude, but alright. It's got me tight. ships. I'm oh, amazed that we took enough damage to even have that happen. Then again, he's also got stuff that I think uh, improves stuff, so it's uh, not a big deal. Oh, nice, a shield array? Cool. Too bad shields are... The Valence Fusion now definitely is the way to go. It's cheaper than having to build mountains of stuff. <laughs> a lot happened a lot faster than I'm used to. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, I'm accustomed to fucks, so he's got the right idea. <laughs> I'm on the same wavelength. A lot happened a lot faster than I'm used to. I don't even know what's going on. done a lot of them. That was 20 minutes, roughly. Uh, actually, yeah, I do have to scrap, so I'm gonna do that real quick. are all for incendiary damage, so I guess... We'll, uh... Do that. And I think that might be the max. Interesting, I just dismantled a couple things, and it is acting like I didn't. Strange. Which damn... RJ damage type. One that acts like new viral. I think it might be the impact analog. absorbed like three, so I'm not a hundred percent. Well, that's, that's what it is though, so. Um, oh wow, that one's really good. still saying I'm at 33 of 30. What's that about? Let me back out and go back in. There we go, okay. These are all offering plasma damage. Oh, I don't have the asteroid. Of course not. That would be too easy. Well, I did not say which one it was. I don't think I can, yeah, I need 256. Avionics. 
Um, I've got Particle Ram, I've got Fiery Phoenix, which I don't, strictly speaking, need. Shatter Burst. Barrage of Five Explosions. Tether. Vortex. Well, well, well. I'm still not seeing, uh... Is it one of these? There it is. There's Death Blossom. Turret cooldowns removed. Oh, okay. Wow. That's kind of bonkers. Tether. Two, three, four. I may have to get Death Blossom on here, but that's going to be uh, 10 cost total. I'm going to have to remove like all three of these. that I do actually have to scoot to have the right uh, sigil equipped. I'm gonna... I believe I fixed that. Yes, I did. I'm not looking at last mission results. That will take me a day. Um, and we got as much standing as we were going to get there. Okay. Yeah, so... Uh, I guess to wrap up... <laughs> as... Wow, that's loud and obnoxious. Let's... Wow. No. That's enough of that. Um... As always, I do uh, I do this every week. Warframe Wednesdays started about noon Eastern Standard Time, um, and I usually do it about two hours or so. Um, if anyone who plays Warframe on PC wants to hop on, uh, give me a holler, please do. I love playing with other people. You'll notice I don't do much solo work in the game. If I can just join a group and do the same task with a group of people, I figure it's better to do that. I don't host very often. Um, for a number of reasons. A, I'm not confident in my abilities to lead a group, and B, um, even if I do know what I'm doing, and B, uh, usually there's a group out there for it. Um, for whatever it is I'm looking to do. Um, shut up, Ordis. Thank you. Um, I also do other streams throughout the week. I do a uh, Mecha Monday stream where I do uh, Ether 
something giant robot related or mecha adjacent. Uh, right now I'm doing a run through of a PSP title called uh, Rengoku, the Tower of Purgatory, which is kind of like Dark Souls, uh, except if instead, well, actually Dark Souls meets Soul Sacrifice, um, uh, which was a Monster Hunter like on the Vita, um, which was kind of like Mega Man meets Monster Hunter meets something even grimmer and darker than both of those. Um, so let's reverse our wheels a second. Remember our analogy here. Uh, <laughs> Rengoku is like uh, a Dark Soul. Is like Dark Souls, except you play as a um, mutant murder android who uh, can mutate his limbs, hurt his androgynous. They're not. They have no. They're whatever. They mutate their limbs into weapons, uh, firearms, swords, axes, hammers, you name it. Uh, they mutate their limbs and head and torso and legs into it. Um, and it plays very much like Dark Souls uh, meets a kind of uh, room by room dungeon crawling type affair. Uh, room by room dungeon crawler, I guess. Um, <laughs> My first one, my first uh, installment of it went very smoothly. The second one did not um, <laughs> at all. I started getting bodied repeatedly. Uh, so the, the difficulty curve is very much a real thing. Um, I also have a Storytime Saturdays stream on Saturdays, uh, which in which I uh, narrate books uh, and short stories and the like. Um, for a couple hours. Uh, right now I'm, what, we're three quarters, two, th three quarters ish, almost three, two thirds of the way. <laughs> I'm having a hard time right now. I'm sorry, folks. About three, about two thirds of the way through a story called, or a book called Brigands of the Moon by, uh, Ray Cummings, which is a, uh, it's a science fiction. It's in four four parts, um, from taken from the pages of uh, Astounding Stories of Super Science, um, March to June, I think, of 1930. So it's uh, it's an interesting look at what people were doing for science fiction back then. I might do next like a much more current science fiction novel. Um, I'm thinking like Keep Up the Moon theme. And I might do either uh, The Moon is a Harsh Mistress by Heinlein or something that's actually more current, Artemis by... I can't remember his name. The guy who did The Martian. Andy Weir. Wire? Where? W-E-I-R Weir. I'm calling it Weir. Andy Weir. It's called Artemis. It's really good. I, I enjoyed it quite a bit. Um... Of course, I also liked The Martian a lot because it basically reads like he was originally uh, doing like a D&D &D campaign or a tabletop gaming campaign or rogue, roguelike affair where there's a bunch of people trying to survive on the Martian surface and he keeps throwing increasingly more obnoxiously uh, difficult to survive scenarios at them and then seeing how they pan out via dice rolls and then kind of coming up with a story as he goes. And I... I find that kind of storytelling fairly entertaining uh, to an extent because I'm not a creative type at all, and I like seeing how creative types come about their creative type work. Um, wow, that was a long-ass tangent, and I apologize. Um, so yeah, thanks for tuning in if you tuned in. If you didn't tune in, feel free to tune in. Um, somehow my voice will reach you over the ether. If you're watching a recording of this on my YouTube, I do stream live on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. Um, I was going to start doing more days throughout the week, but then I realized, you know what, that's going to make organizing my schedule of things I actually have to do, uh, that I actually get money for, <clears throat> hint, hint, you can't make money doing this, uh, don't go into it with that expectation unless you are willing to absolutely do incredible acts of self-promotion that I simply don't have time for. Uh, so without further ado, thank you very much for tuning in. Wow, did I eat something with caffeine in it and nobody told me? Because I am flying right now. I am so sorry. 
Um, my brain is not latching onto things properly at this point. Um, so yeah, thanks for tuning in and, uh, gosh, have a great week. See you next time. Uh, hopefully I will get this uploaded to YouTube sooner rather than later. And not wait a week for once, right? Right. Right. <laughs> thanks again, folks. Have a good one. Enjoy your day. Stay safe. And life's too short for all the petty bullshit. So you do you. So long as it ain't hurting nobody, do your thing. All right, folks. Thanks again.